Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Saving Your Disaster campaign. This, I will call this campaign the This Is Already Lost campaign because it was essentially an already lost campaign. And for an already lost campaign, I think we've done reasonably well the last time to get a new major and also kind of protected, so to speak, uh, all of the assets, kind of reshifted a little bit of the equipment. And now uh, the rubber starts to hit the road as we're forced to go into the first alien facility. Operation Morbid Veil vale is upon us. There is an extremely powerful and dangerous alien here, I suspect. My memory, uh, if my intuition serves me well, that it's potentially the um, Berserker Queen. But we will be able to deal with her, don't worry. So, I'm just double checking what else uh, are we dealing with. Heavy mech, okay, a sectopod and an Andromedon, so plenty of reason to take blue screen rounds with us. In terms of our team, let's just see whom we want to pick into today's team. We're not taking Outrider because she's already a colonel, and I I want to make sure that the guy gets as many potentially upgraded units as possible. So we're taking the Holy for base classes, sharpshooter included. I will need to fix the lo uh, the loadouts. They look terrible. On top of it, we're going to take the Spark. Unfortunately, both of the Templars are wounded beyond being able to be sent into battle. So what else would we need? We could go for a Skirmisher to level that unit a bit further. Might not be the worst idea. I mean, it's not its not a great unit for someone who starts the game. I would potentially much rather go for another Grenadier, if I'm honest. Now, yeah, let's go for another Grenadier. I want to create a safe game so that the actual owner can easily play with it. And having more than one Grenadier is mandatory, just in case he loses one. Let me fix all of it and show you the final loadout. All right, here we go. So what I did is essentially use the Mimic Beacon this time on Slider as a support. We got a nice little mine shield on Edgar Alien Post so that in case he'll ever go toe to toe with the Berserk uh, Queen, then he'll not be affected by her stun ability. Other than that, really another mine shield, a lot of blue screen rounds, some explosives, but also a frost bomb that potentially will help us to clean packs easier. Berserk Queen is fairly difficult to come by, specifically if you're not cheesing your way through it. But we gotta do what we gotta do. We need to get the facility down. All right, and we landed. Oh, nice. A little fighter that was crash landing here. I totally like that tile set. It's fantastic. Roger that. It's a non-timed mission, so no need to get completely overboard. There's high ground over here. So naturally the sniper moves into that direction. Of course, our spark does so as well. Got it. Got and finally deep six. Let's move all the way over here. Damn it, I'm trying to remember the name of the fighters in XCOM 1 and UFO. I think they were specifically in U UFO, uh, UFO Enemy Unknown. I think they were Avalanche. Not sure. If you remember the name, feel free to write it in the comments down below. Gosh, it has been a while since I played XCOM UFO un Unknown, Enemy Unknown. Roger that. Eyes on a hostile patrol. Good, enemies are spotted out. Fantastic. Roger that. Let's short shortly move over there. On it. On that was a misclick. 
Not a serious one. But we can hear the stomps of the sectopod in the background. And an Andromedon. Somehow all of that is spotted out. Do we have... Do we have extended extra vigilance so the dark event that essentially lets them have a larger area of control almost appears like that high ground mech cannot take cover heading to that location position confirmed good we're positioning ourselves Moving. well And for the time being, let's just overwatch. Still surprised that they do have such a large area of influence. And something just broke over here. Which more or less tells me that there is a sector port near. Time for a scanning protocol. Good. There is another pack over here, a mutant with something. Not bad. New if we were to haywire over here, what's the chance of taking this guy over? 35%. Are we willing to take our chances? Yeah, I think we can gamble a bit. <laughs> and it worked out. Fantastic. I think since we're still concealed... Yeah, we're no longer concealed. I was about to say, if you are out of reach, they wouldn't immediately know, but now they do. Okay, fantastic. Well, hello there. Couple of things just to get the party started. We do not have Salvo, which is lamentable. to deal with that let me first of all move forward frost bomb by the way fantastic opener for a pack that stands close together i think what we want to do here is starting to clean the field a bit there we go mutant stands completely in the open Unfortunately, can't see that other guy. Instead, we're moving over here. I still want to keep the rocket launcher, just in case. We're overdriving. And we got enough explosives, so I do not see any problem with removing the tree and... A lot of uh, the armor of the Andromedon. Andromedon is not our main target, though. We are starting with the Mutant. That was unfortunate. Let's try the mutant right again. Fantastic. Problem solved.
Now, the one thing that we can do is we could charge into full cover and take a shot. We could also charge in and use some placeable afterwards. Let's see if we can get that Andromedon down. Potentially not. Nice little hit. That was good. Alright, severely impacted, but I think... Yeah, 8 to 10, that's not going to be enough. So instead, running and gunning, moving over here. Everybody is spread out. I hate to let that Andromedon live. Luckily, we crit. And that means we have untouchable and implacable. Got untouchable, right? Yeah, we got untouchable. So we're positioning ourselves over here. Full cover, so... Just in case, if the Andromedon moves in, we'll be fine. It moves in. There's the Bladestorm Retaliation. Fantastic. And even if it hits, we still have untouchable. There we go. All right, let's feed some kills to our sniper. You can't handle me. And whilst we're at it, starting to hit both. The purifier and ourselves. Wonderful. That was a beautiful hit. Pure fire is nicely shredded. On top of it, they are marked, and we're taking the loot. Elarium core is important, as we do not have one yet. Thanks to the marking, we're at almost 100%. That's another kill, and another implacable, and another untouchable. Starting to prepare our mech, just to make sure that it'll take enough damage. Fantastic. Let's double check something. A user uh, told me that you could move over remote hacking and see the number of turns over the hacking and see the number of turns that it still remains. So Two turns cooldown, that means next turn we'll, we're going to lose uh, the control, but yeah, that really doesn't tell it, so maybe I'm missing something, maybe he was playing with a mod. I would have been surprised that over the 6,000 hours of playing this game I've never seen that feature. Okay, so... Moving up. Lost and, loaded. I'm on my way. and we are potentially reloading with everyone. Preparing to re engage. Back online. On Overwatch. Bit of Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. And that's really it. I am still concerned. 
about the alien ruler but supposedly on this map well talking about uh, the alien ruler on this map right It was not the most prudent of choices. That is a massive understatement. If we frost bomb her, that'll at least buy us a round. She will be thrawed. This shot, on the other hand, should almost bypass most of her uh, well she it doesn't bypass uh, the armor so wouldn't trigger any reaction though we could start with a plasma grenade in order to shred her she will retaliate by moving up and beating the living crap out of us I think we're starting with a frost bomb. Catch. That should slow her down for multiple rounds. All right, she's frozen. That really doesn't mean a lot. Just double checking. We got shredder. We have holo. No, we have holo targeting. We do not. Well, still gotta do what we gotta do. Still She's still frozen. Rocket launcher. Let's hit her. Now she's thrawed. Let's take a shot. We just need to get one third of our hit points down. That should not trigger a reaction. It really shouldn't. Luckily we got a mind shield here, so that worked in our favor. Let's go in. We do have another mind shield and this here would trigger additional attacks the moment that she does something. It's a bit of a YOLO play. But there we go, that was the idea. Essentially forcing her to move back. Comet protocol, five points of damage, seven to nine. I think we're just taking the five points of damage and calling it quits. The less hit points she has, the better for us. Takes additional burning damage. Unfortunately, does not trigger another blade storm. All things considered, that went better than expected. Thanks to the frost grenade. Now that actually went relatively well, I must admit. I was concerned that we we're going to get our ass handed to us the moment that she went in. But yeah, she d does an AoE stun and I was fairly aware that that might happen. So as you've seen, I split all of uh, the operatives out to not fall for the trap of yeah, essentially running into her AoE stun. And then mind shields just absolutely make sure that, that we're not getting shed on. on the move. Let's do this. Proceeding to target. Double time. 
All right, moving up. But there is someone on the rooftop. How are our cooldowns looking? Everything looks fine. Fantastic. Might as well start moving up and looking onto the rooftop. Hello. All right. Well, that is going to be interesting. All right. Moving over here. Move all the way up here in order to take a couple of shots. Grapple. Can't grapple too far. Ah, that's a bummer. So, in terms of rocket uh, grenades, that over here would not be a bad idea. Kind of hitting all of uh, the fields and letting them drop down. Okay. Let's reload and do exactly that. It's right next to the sector pod. We, by the way, got another frost bomb. If we could hit both of the guys downstairs, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. You can only stand in the open, that would be way too aggressive. That is a good hit against Trooper as well. Alright, let's still go for that aggressive play. I don't like it a lot, but this here might be the right play. Partial cover. And will be a difficult grenade to land. due to the cover. Alright, so that one here would work. Can only hit one of, out of two, which means we're going for the sector port. That's not even a question. moving here and I would like to take the high ground so that's why we're going all the way up to here reaction frostbite there we go oh, 
saves us another problem. Immediate shot with lightning hands. Ah, I should have waited until we were using overdrive. Yeah, instead of going for him right away, let's... Oh. That was unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Alright, okay. So, let's see. This guy here will not be able to do anything. Charging up, killing him, and then moving forward with untouchable. Difficult situation. All right, we could Comet Protocol. And then make sure that the guy dies. I think that's not a bad idea. Let's start with it. That is still sound decision making so far. Run and gun. Get all the way up here. Killing the mech, that triggers untouchable and placeable. Can't stand too close to the others because then we're going to trigger... Then we're going to trigger the rockets, so... What else can we do? How much damage? It's only seven to eight. We're definitely going to start uh, to shred this guy. If we move over here, that should be far enough away. Could also move all the way over here. The mech could not fully kill us. The fire might be a problem though. Or alternatively, where's the ladder? Right there, right? Okay, we could all always come back up a bit later. Alright, got a touchable so Gotta offer a second target. Ouch. Well, we already know what the next target is going to be. By the way, interesting, I thought that I would have taken at least one action away from the sector pod. That's a learning for me. I thought that the frost grenade would essentially yeah trigger the uh, trigger him to at least lose one action untouchable but that does not mean we're not taking falling damage there's the blade storm Alright, interesting turn of events. Very interesting turn of events. Gotta heal ourselves with Slider. And we do have a full fledged war at our hands.
Eventually gotta drop the Mimic Beacon. Moving over here. Let's try to hit the sector pot. The chain shot lands. Oh boy, yep, that is nice. 25 damage. Fantastic. Alright, we could hit him with a rifle. Who else got blue screen rounds? So, just for my own conscience, I really like to get that sector port down. Lightning Hands is currently reloading, might as well hit him with a sniper. I got nothing. That was a 98% shot missed, which is quite unfortunate. our chance to take that guy down not good enough not good enough all right no more blue screen rounds except for our ranger. All right, setting the sector port up. Now we do not have the luxury to get anywhere into cover like we'll at least one enemy will be able to flank us might as well move to here all right come on down to two hp that is uh, i need the mimic beacon still So instead of being able to kill this guy, we're needing to move all the way down here. That'll stink like a lot. All right, so far so good. Now Mimic Beacon. Throwing one literally over here into the open. This guy is throat, so just one movement for him. And he had chosen death. But unfortunately, our blade storm misses. Too bad. Two actions actually for him. God damn, I haven't used uh, the grenade in a long time. I figured it would kind of remove one action from him, but I was clearly wrong. Sectorbot also did not stay throat. Okay, the Mimic Beacon saved the day. Grenade, yeah, I figured. All right. Give some time to recover when we get back. So this is where 
the specialist really shines because revival protocol in order to get this guy back just removing the fear and then a gremlin heal in order to get rid of the burning Can I hit both of them? No, not without not without hitting us as well. This here might be a decent grenade, but to be honest, stun lancer uh, the Purifiers are the least of my concerns. I think we got blue screen rounds in here. Yep, we do. All right, fantastic. Action economy. Let's move all the way up here to make sure that we're going to hit the guy. 80% is not good enough. 100% is what we want to see. Fantastic. That's one down. All right, can't move anywhere without reigniting. That is lamentable. Luckily, our spark doesn't have these problems. And instead, just punishes this trooper. Alright, Shadowfall gives us concealment. Nope, apparently not on objects. Well, too bad. Good. We're using our last grenades. here nice little flanking position untouchable and placeable let's us move over here and that again will give us a blade storm attack that hopefully kills it thanks for untouchable and has, did she really get an uh, get another fire again. Oh my gosh. Alright. Hunger down. Thank you. Alright. I am not claiming that that mission was perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but keep in mind we fought like three packs at once. With a sort of mediocre equipment. I can see why he had problems. It's a combination of soldiers not being skilled that well. We were uh, lacking a lot of momentum. We did not have Salvo, for instance, for essentially double, uh, double moves with the Grenadiers. And I learned a thing or two about the Frost Grenade. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're good to go. No one was seriously at the risk of dying, but we've taken, I think, four injuries. I mean, considering that the Berserker Queen was here again, not completely un unheard of. Oh, wow, well, even five soldiers that got injured. But yeah. I could have played uh, the whole engagement with the sector port a tiny bit cleaner. And here we go. Freshly landed. Let's see 
if we get a promotion or two well the spark gets promoted that is something we're starting with adaptive aim just to make it a better fire support overall moderate wound times your troops performed admirably commander destroying that facility will slow the aliens development of the Avatar and luckily we got and an infirmary to further that'll make it easier for us to catch up what else do we have available heavy weapons would be fantastic experimental ammunition not necessarily needed advanced explosives for instance is incredibly good for all of uh, the additional grenades if you're using them but well we don't have other explosives yet so let's use the experimental heavy weapon Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as it's for the spark would almost only be an improvement to the standard rocket and there we go avatar project is going further down now of course i can't leave the campaign as such and just hand it over it will not work what the guy needs is a lot of intel more contacts and definitely facility leads because i can't expand that fast hmm i think think we're going to heal faster for now just want to make sure that we're ready for the next mission leveling his operatives will be also one of the uh, core comp uh, components of re recovering this campaign so in that sense my sloppy play actually was not optimal Good. And now, of course, we're going to go for the facility lead and for nothing but the facility lead. Hacking plus four is great for a specialist. We don't have that. Might as well put anyone else there. So yeah, the facility lead will kind of build the first base for him to have enough options to never be in trouble with the Avatar project. And yeah, there are a lot of dark events that happened because he obviously did not counter them in advance. But he didn't do that that bad. Like I see a lot of resistance activity as well, so it was m more a fact of him not being able to prioritize correctly two chosen that are almost full and by the way he has not even started uh, to research them so yet another error i started uh, or mistake that he has done i started building the the defense matrix if you see that some of the chosen is almost done with uh, with their activities and you're not starting with the defense matrix i can't help you like that is suicidal specifically if you're struggling to stay in the game so training that is bad that is bad and that is bad but then again all of the their abilities are bad we potentially need to fight the minor breakthrough i think he's not playing with permanent dark events wow hasn't even assigned something to the skirmishers that is rich like if you're struggling and you're not putting something here that is really bad definitely you want to have the bonds that go faster and not the mission increase that one is pretty good why would you have new recruits for 15 you're not recruiting a lot of new guys un unless of course you're dying continuously he has the between the eyes mod that is good more ability points that is fantastic he actually has quite a few really really good uh, mods hmm weapon research is increased by 15 percent that's not bad because we're at the moment researching the plasma tier so for now that's the right call
And there we go. Finally, plasma rifle. Just need the funds to pull it off. And even an inspired beam cannon. So, yeah, I think it's clear what we're going to do. I will research the plasma tier for him because he's in October and he was also slacking on uh, research. So that's a typical uh, typical problem of people who have not played legendary enough. They will fall behind in research and in mission objectives and everything's just getting a bit too difficult. So uh, you're getting overrun. The weapon research definitely should have been done by November. Like that, there is no excuse not to do it. So he must have eventually done something wrong. Defense facility now operational. Good. Look at that. This is what's going to save your rear. Putting another engineer there and then upgrade it and never look back. You're welcome. Eventually put an engineer here once uh, this is cleared. Shielded power coil that is fantastic for a psi lab, but we don't have the funds in order to do that. For now we're okay. For now we're okay and we need more supplies so might as well pick up the supply drop let me just check something real quick almost all of them are back good enough the faster healing definitely has paid its dividends so now we're going to take the supplies Oh boy, this campaign is a doozy. But we're uh, going to rectify it. We'll eventually get there, don't worry. That's what I was looking for. A nice little supply rate to get us even more supplies. And let's take a look at our geoscape for a moment. With more intel that we're eventually going to take, I... There we go, baby. That is what I was hoping for. Good. Now we got enough contacts. Can always upgrade that a little bit later. We could go for Psylab soon-ish. For now... Let's always keep one engineer here in the defense matrix. Resistance comms is good. And one more day for beam weapons. The next money that we're, that we're spending should definitely New be spent commander. into weapon upgrades. Pistol is good. Advanced Grenade Launcher is fantastic. Not sure why you didn't pick that, buddy. That is super important. Yeah, Plasma Rifle 350. I gotta get some more money, but that is what we're going to do next. We're going to get some more money and eventually some more Lyrium and some more Alloys, which we're then again selling. Uh, maybe we're not. Um, we need it for the upgrades. So all of the money that we're that we can do, we're going to do now, and we're then going to upgrade the weapons. That's going to be an important step in the right direction. Plus, if you look at it, facility lead is coming in, beam weapon is coming in, so things are going in our direction. With a facility lead, we got some more things on our way, and from a resistance ring, let's check what we've got. Reduce avatar project, that is what I was looking for, and another facility lead. Fantastic. I can already see what our next projects will be. This and this. There is more resistance context, that's not bad. Improved shotguns is fantastic. Yeah, 
I think we're going for the reduction here. And then unfortunately, we're going to take the facility lead instead of the wonderful shotguns. Maybe I'm going to be greedy and put in the shotguns before we're getting the other facility lead because extra damage is helpful. Very, very helpful. Got another Reaper here, theoretically. That's not bad. That would uh, leave you with yet another high level faction soldier. Hmm. That is rare because you already got two Templars and one Reaper. So recruiting another one, well, that would be fantastic. Too many good um, rewards. Whenever you have that many good rewards, don't be too greedy. We're going to start with reducing the avatar progress. Potentially another facility lead. And I like the breakthrough research, but I also need to give the guy a chance to win the campaign. So another Reaper might be the right answer to do that. Anyways, that's going to happen next time. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. That helps the video uh, to put and the YouTube algorithm to push the video for more viewers. Thanks and have a great one. Bye bye.